now over to our first speaker, none other than uh, the president of KTH, Sigrid Karlsson. Welcome, Sigrid. Thank you. Welcome to KTH, Royal Institute of Technology, Stockholm, Sweden. And welcome to the inauguration of Digital Futures. Already 2008, the government founded so-called strategic research areas. The government invited applications within about 10 different uh, research areas. One of these areas were ICT. The teams applying had to come from more than one university and they had to collaborate with institutes, industry or the public sector. One successful SRA, as the short form is, is the now well-known uh, well National Infrastructure Silef Lab, which, which is in life science area. And another is the ECT TNG, which is a team consisting of researchers from Royal Institute of Technology, KTH, Stockholm University, and Swedish Research Institute, RISE, who won the application and have been working since then. The ECT TNG stands for IT and mobi Mobile Communication Technology. In the Research and Innovation Bill of 2016, the government uh, presented a new initiative given addition to the ECT TNG area of uh, 78 million Swedish krona as basic funding for research and research ed education. And putting that together with, with the ECT TNG, we now are able to, to inaugurate digital future. I would say that one of the most important research areas today is within the area of digitalization. Globally, the Agenda 2030 with the 17 Sustainability Development Goals have given us an, a direction for new research and development. A direction which hopefully will uh, lead to a sustainable future. The past six and seven months struggle with the pandemic has taught us uh, a lot within digitalization. We have, for example, seen that it is possible to meet without traveling. But we also now are in, in the beginning of the experience with e-mobility and also the general industrial transformation, which is going on in a really high speed. In everyday life, digital solutions are present, but we still have things to find and explore. The scope of digital future is wide. Uh, it's open up for all kinds of areas within the digitalization or where digital solutions are asked for. And it opens up for tremendous and vital research. To be successful in the area, collaboration is a key factor. And then we must remember that digital solutions are not only technical solutions. Rather, humanities, social sciences and technology need to work together across discipline board, uh, boundaries. And that is what digital futures will do. Within the scope of digital futures, PhD students will be trained, postdocs, adjunct professors, professors and uh, senior scientists and researchers will be active in trans and interdisciplinary research projects. I look forward to world-leading research teams meeting up and collaborating within the arena of digital future. And that successful research will contribute to a better and more sustainable future for all of us. And finally, I wish all participants in digital future success. And I look forward to great research findings. Thank you.